Hello, my name is Matt Overwine, and welcome to our tutorial on using MediaWiki, specifically for Dr. Kevin Corcoran's course. Um, I work for the Arts and Sciences Department in the Instructional Design Office, and I'm just going to try to run you through this as quickly as possible. Here you see uh, Dean Corcoran's page here, the main page, and we're just going to follow the wiki link. Let's go ahead and click on that. Actually, I already had it loaded, but I'll go ahead and use that one. So here we are at the main page of the wiki here and I know some of you had questions on how to edit pages and how to make the new words for the word list specifically but um, make sure before you do anything that you log in you're gonna have to create a, an account just like you would on any other website um, just hit the login create account button up here All right, it already has my username saved in there but go ahead and click on create an account if you have not yet done so just fill out these this information here pretty standard stuff email username password and your real name and then hit create an account you should automatically be able to start editing right away uh, but it will send you an email and it will just verify your email address so I'm gonna go ahead and click back just to go back real quick I'm gonna log in alright should be my password I'm just going to go ahead and return to main page. So now here we are, and the dean has already made us a list or a button here that we can follow to go to the word list page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this word list. Here we are. There's a list of terms here that I think you guys need to figure out definitions for. So we're going to go ahead and hit edit. In order to edit, you're going to have to have a you're going to have to have logged in. So if you haven't logged in yet and you can't see the edit tab here, that's why. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. You'll see this editor come up here. That's called the FCK editor. Not that you really need to know that, but that's what it is. And here it brings up many word like Microsoft Word like options for bolding, italicing, under, underlining, not undergrounding. Scroll down through these, and you can see all the exact same things you just saw. So say you want to identify what attachment means. There's a link option here in the bar called Insert Edit Link that you need to use. What you can do is just go ahead and, and hit the link button, and it'll bring up a separate button here, or a separate little window. In this, you can search for links that already exist just to make sure someone already didn't define the word. So, for instance, the name of this page that we're editing is called Word List. You can see that up here where it says Editing Word List. So, what this will do, if I type in Word List, actually, if I just type in Word, it automatically finds that there are two pages existing on Word List. Actually, the Word List with the lowercase l just redirects to this one, so it's really just one page. So, you already see Word List. So we would know not to create another page there. So for instance, now we want to do attachment. So let's go ahead and type in attachment. This says no articles found here. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. So you see where there's now a link here right after the word attachment. So let's just go ahead and put a return in between that and just delete the old one. So now we have one that looks like a link. You can go ahead and look at a preview of this by, whoop, not scrolling down there, but scrolling down to the bottom here, show preview. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And there really doesn't look like much right there because you see this reference to something else here. Don't worry about that too much. Just go ahead and hit save. Save page. Just make sure it looks like this in the editing part. Go to save page. And now, when you look at the word list page, you see that there is a red uh, link here. And when they're red like that, that means that, that a page exists for it, but there's no definition for it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on attachment, and I'm going to do the same thing I did for the word list, and just edit it using the Microsoft Word Looking FCK editor. So since I don't actually know the definition for this, I'm going to go ahead and just put some stuff that you guys can edit out for me, because... Uh, I'm not familiar with the subject really, so attachment is something Matt doesn't know about. Know much about. <laughs> so there we have a definition. 
and you can put any number of things in here. There's a diff bunch of different tools. You can make certain things bold just by doing that. You can even put links in here to other websites. If you wanted to put a, a link into another website, you could use that same link button, but instead you would just put HTTP in front of it like normal with a website and then just type in a website. Let's just put Google. And probably just leave it off. We'll put www in front of it as well. So we're going to go and hit OK. And now you will see a link in there. Let's, let's avoid previewing and just go ahead and hit Save Page. Now you see attachment is something Matt doesn't know much about. And then there's the link there, and you can tell it's going to an outside website because there's a little box with an arrow there. So if I hit that, if I open another tab, okay, it opens it up in the same window. So there's Google. Went and hit back to go back to that. So that's in general how you would edit any of those definitions there. Let's go back a few times to the word list again, and I'm going to refresh it. Now that the page has been created, this link should turn blue. And I can now just click on that, and it will bring up the page. The page I just created. So all you need to do is what I showed you there. It's not too, not too bad. I guess that's all we got there. I uh, hope you guys get through that pretty well. And if you have any more questions, just uh, let D Dean Corker know, and we can help you out.